So tripod heads come in all different shapes and sizes, and depending on the model, some are built for really heavy duty equipment. Now you may think that the tripod head that you got is the sturdiest it could possibly be, but there's one that's even sturdier. Stick around. So the most popular kinds of tripod heads are ball heads, and you know what they are. You probably have one. It's basically the tripod head uh, sits on a ball and the ball sits in a socket, and you can loosen it and move it around, rotate it to whatever orientation you want, and then tighten it up, and now you're nice and tight and ready to shoot. Uh, even the sturdiest of those ball heads, and I've used a ton of them, I've tried a ton of them out, even the sturdiest that you could possibly find of those still has some give to it. And you know you can grab it and, and pull it as hard as you can. It's gonna have a little bit of give to it, even the sturdiest ones. Now, in most situations, it's sturdy enough. You know, you're, you don't have a thousand pounds of equipment sitting on there. You know, you might have five to 10 pounds of camera gear on it at most, and that's more than enough to hold that. But it does have a little give to it. And in addition to that, when using a ball head, if you're trying to make precise movements and precise framing with a ball head, basically to move from your camera even just a little, little bit, you have to loosen the ball and you have to move your camera and then tighten it again. And making those micro adjustments on a ball head can sometimes get a little frustrating, especially when you're only off by, you know, just a tiny little sliver and you want to move the camera into the exact right spot. Having to loosen the ball head and not being able to just micro adjust, but having to move the whole thing, for me gets a little frustrating and isn't as exact as I would like to be. So several years ago, I started using a geared head. This is the Manfrotto uh, mini geared head. I'll put a link to it in the description below. There's a few others out there. There's a few others that this company makes that I don't like as much as this one. This is really the least bulky of them and I find works the best. But basically the way this works is rather than having a ball that sits in a socket that you tighten, there are gears. It's the geared head. There are gears inside here which basically lock together. Um, and once these are locked together, they're not moving. There's nothing that you can do to move this. So when I have this tripod head in position, when I have my framing set up, I can't grab this and move it. There's nothing that I can do to change the position of this tripod head. It's as sturdy as anything could possibly be. But for me, the sturdiness is actually secondary to the micro adjustment. So let me show you how this works. I have a camera already set up on here. It's got a, a quick release plate, so I just snap it right on. And you know, it is a little bit big and bulky. Uh, it's probably weighs three or four pounds. I can take it off here. I can put it in my camera bag if I don't want to have it actually attached to my tripod legs because then it makes the whole setup a little bit heavier. But I've carried this thing, the whole tripod together or with the head around for 18 hours at a time and it's tolerable, you know, especially giving the trade off of the super sturdiness, it's tolerable to be able to carry this around. Now when I go to the Disney parks uh, or I'm gonna be someplace where I really can't carry you know, something this big and heavy around with me, I definitely use the Faisal uh, that we recommend all the time. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Also check that out, but for travel tripods, that's the best. But when I need maximum stability and I really you know, don't have to worry about size and weight, uh, maybe I'm only gonna be out for a couple of hours or a short hike, this is the way that I go. So basically the way this works is it's got three directional movements uh, and there's basically a main knob for each one. So I can loosen the knob and I can turn this up and down. I can loosen the knob over here and rotate it back and forth. And I loosen the knob up here and this one goes left to right. And then the whole thing can shift 90 degrees sideways if you're gonna shoot in a vertical position. Once you have your framing in place, what happens then is now you, you make your micro adjustments and really get it exactly the way that you want it. So the ends of the knobs here rotate like this and turn just a little bit, very smoothly and very steadily without having to loosen a ball head and reframe you can adjust exactly, exactly the way you want your shot with these control knobs on here. I find it super, super useful when I'm shooting wide angle uh, architectural stuff to be able to get it exactly the way that I want, especially if I'm using a perspective control lens. Uh, I want everything to be exactly even and, and straight. Uh, this is perfect for something like that. When I'm out in nature, when I'm hiking and I can take my time and get my framing exactly right and have everything set up the way I like it, uh, it's wonderful to be able to use something like this and fine tune my shot and know that I don't have to worry about stability and I can get the shot exactly the way that I want it. Again, it's the combination of super sturdy stability 
and being able to get exact, exact framing with these fine tuning knobs. The trade-off, all the trade-off is really is just in size and weight. It's a larger, bulkier tripod head compared to a ball head. So that's why, like I said, when I need to go light and long term, I go with the Fisol uh, with a regular ball head on it. It's much better for that kind of stuff. But when there's no compromise, when I need the maximum stability and maximum control, nothing comes close to a geared head like this. So like I said, I'm gonna put a link to this in the description below, definitely check it out. If you've ever been frustrated by your tripod head, you might wanna check something like this out. It's really wonderful. It's one of the oldest pieces of equipment that I still have and it's one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna put links here to videos that we did about tripods and tripod heads, uh, all the different variations, all the different styles that we use, why we use them, what we like and don't like about them. So check those videos out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.